if we go to this function, we can actually see some specific constant so this hex 41C64E6D and this 3039 if we look at that in in a DuckDuckGo we'll see that this is like a common pseudo-random al algorithm for generating the pseudo-random values we get some seed and we multiply it by this value and we add the second value but the problem is that in this binary if we go to seed the seed is set to 1 and actually it's not being modified anywhere in the code and of course it's not that easy because if you use one as a seed, we don't actually get correct results. We will get some garbage and the flag won't be readable. So how we can we can do that? One would be we could try all the values for the seed and hoping that it's not really big so we'll get the hit quite soon. But yeah, I tried that and it's not, I guess, possible. I'm not sure if it's even possible if you run the whole spectrum of the values. I think it might be that no value of seed can provide us the correct order of the bytes but there is one additional function in this binary that can give us a hint how the bytes in this shuffle array should be placed to get the correct flag 